Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is a video on titration. This topic is found in Unit 3 Chemistry, also known as C3. Now we're going to be looking at the formulas that we need for titration calculations and how to use them properly. And then we're going to be applying our knowledge to some actual AQA uh, titration exam questions. So the first equation we need is this equation here where we've got mass is equal to moles multiplied by the formula or atomic mass. Now to make it easier to use, I've represented it as this formula triangle here. Now how do we use this triangle? Well, it's really, really easy. What you do is, let's say you want to work out mass, you put your hand over mass and you're left with moles multiplied by the formula or atomic mass. Let's say you want to also work out, say, moles, you've got mass divided by the formula or atomic mass. The next equation you need is moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by volume and again I've put it into a triangle formula to make it easier to use. Now what you'll notice is that the concentration is in this unit here that says mole forward slash dm and a little 3 that means moles per decimeter cubed okay now this could also be written as this where you've got mole space dm minus 3 that also means moles per decimeter cubed so these two mean the exact same thing don't get confused the volume is in decimeter cubed now one decimeter cubed is equivalent to 1000 centimeters cubed now how do we convert between these two units so for example let's say you want to convert centimeter cubed to decimeter cubed you simply divide the number by 1000 and to show an example we've got 20 centimeters cubed if we divide that by 1000 we get 0 0.02 decimeters cubed so let's practice those equations by doing some basic questions please pause the video and have a go at this question so in this question you have to work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide so because we're working out moles we put a hand over moles and we're left with mass divided by the formula mass the formula mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 the mass is given to us as 12 divided by 40 and we get 0 0.3 moles of sodium hydroxide here's another question please pause the video and have a go at this so in this question you have to work out the number of moles of an acid now we put our hand over moles and we're left with concentration multiplied by volume so we just do 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.1 this 0 0.1 is 100 centimeters cubed converted to decimeters cubed. Our final answer will be 0 0.05 moles. So here's a titration question. The question reads, a student discovered a bottle labeled hydrochloric acid. The concentration was not stated on the bottle. A 20 centimeter cubed sample of this acid reacted with 24.85 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide. Calculate the concentration of this acid using the equation below to assist you. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight some of the key points in the question. Now the acid is hydrochloric acid. The concentration of the acid is not listed and that's what we're trying to work out. 20 centimeters cubed of this acid was completely neutralized by 24.85 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide and the concentration of that is 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cubed. So the question wants us to work out the concentration of the acid in mole per decimeter cubed using this information here. So the first thing we should do is to calculate the number of moles for the reagent that we know the concentration of. So in this case it's NaOH. Because we're trying to work out the moles, we need to do concentration multiplied by volume. So the concentration is 0 0.5 mole per decimeter cubed. We also know the volume, which is 24.85 centimeters cubed. Now don't forget the volume needs to be converted to decimeter cubed before you put it into this equation. So we do 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.02485 and that will give us 0 0.0124 moles of sodium hydroxide. We now need to work out the number of moles of HCl and to do that we need to look at our balance symbol equation here and what this tells us is that one mole of HCl reacts with exactly one mole of NaOH which means that HCl must have the same number of moles as NaOH which is 0 0.0124 now that we know the number of moles of HCl, we can work out the concentration by using this formula. So we're going to be doing moles divided by the volume. So we know our moles. 
and we also know our volume from the question is 20 centimeters cubed so we do 0 0.0124 divided by 0 0.02 and that will give us 0 0.62 more per decimeter cubed so here is a recent exam question the question reads vinegar is used for seasoning foods it is a solution of ethanoic acid in water in an experiment it was found that the ethanoic acid present in a 15 centimeter cubed sample of vinegar was neutralized by 45 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide solution of concentration 0 0.20 moles per cubic decimeter which is moles per decimeter cubed the equation is shown here now this is a one-to-one -one reaction which means that one mole of ethanoic acid reacts with exactly one mole of sodium hydroxide and the question wants us to calculate the concentration of ethanoic acid in this vinegar so once again I've highlighted the key points in the question so we've got 15 centimeters cubed sample of vinegar and this was neutralized by 45 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide and the concentration of the sodium hydroxide is 0 0.20 moles per decimeter cubed We've also got the equation here, and particularly you should be looking out for the ratios. You can see it's a one-to-one -one reaction. So one mole of ethanoic acid reacts with exactly one mole of sodium hydroxide. And the question wants us to work out the concentration of the ethanoic acid in vinegar in moles per decimeter cubed. The first thing we should do is to calculate the number of moles for the reagent that we know the concentration of. Well, we know the concentration of sodium hydroxide, and that's 0.2 mole per decimeter cubed. We also know the volume, which is 45 centimeters cubed. Using these two numbers, we could calculate the moles by doing concentration multiplied by volume, and that will give us 0 0.009 moles of sodium hydroxide. The next thing we have to do is to calculate the number of moles of ethanoic acid, and to do that, we have to look at this balance symbol equation here, and what this tells us is that one mole of ethanoic acid reacts with one mole of sodium hydroxide which means that there must be the same number of moles of ethanoic acid which is 0 0.009 we also know the volume of ethanoic acid which is 15 centimeters cubed now using the moles and the volume we could work out the concentration of ethanoic acid so we do moles divided by volume and that will give us 0 0.6 mole per decimeter cubed for the concentration of ethanoic acid So here's part two of the previous question. In this part, you have to work out the concentration of ethanoic acid in grams per decimeter cubed. And you've got the relative atomic masses of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. And you'll find out why that's important in a minute. The equation you're gonna be using is here on the right-hand side, where mass is equal to the moles, multiplied by the formula of atomic mass. Now we know our moles from the previous question, and that is 0 0.6 formula mass can be worked out by looking at the chemical formula of ethanoic acid and that's in the question so that's CH3COOH that gives us a formula mass of 60 and we now simply do 0 0.6 multiplied by 60 and that gives us 36 grams because this is in a decimeter cubed we have to write it as 36 grams per decimeter cubed right so that is the end of the video thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe for more science videos and also don't forget that there is a link in the description box to download some exam questions